Hey, what's up, guys? Of course, it's me, Doc, again from SampleKings.com. So today, I want to talk about the browser in the software. Let's go over this browser so we can understand more about what it does. Now, I want to go over here. I'm in the uh, file browser. You see this here? This is the file browser. So you can see the button there on the right-hand side of a file browser. We have an expansion browser, and we have a media browser. Let's go back to the expansion browser. And if that's here, you'll see in the expansion browser, all the expansions are here, right? And of course, here in the file browser, I have to maneuver to certain files on my hard drive so I can get to see what I want to use, right? So you'll see here at the very top of this file browser, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now, these are folders that I can pick on my hard drive where I want to say, I want to use this folder more often than the other folders. So, for example, my first folder is actually tied to my Akai folders. It says here, it's in the library, it's application support, and it's Akai. Now, I'm using a MacBook Pro. So, I'm using a MacBook Pro, and it's the M1 MacBook Pro. So, it's a brand new MacBook Pro, and it's kind of really cool and really fast. But I sort of... Make sure I know what I'm doing on my MacBook or from on my PC that I store my files in a certain location. So make sure you know where your files are stored at. So here also, we're in the uh, second folder. And this folder here, I have it stored here. I'm gonna, what's this? Okay, these are base. This is all our base stuff here, which is from the F9 expansion. Okay, and then number three here, as you can see, it's shared. It's battery four. So battery is a software that comes from machine. And so I have other softwares on my uh, Mac because, as you already know, I know how to work all the software, so I have to buy them all and figure out how they work and answer questions that people might ask me on the website. So I keep a lot of different samples. And so these are all samples. I can come here to folder to see. This is a folder, which is the battery folder, library, samples, drums, right? So I can come to here and say I'm going to get claps or let's open this up. And these are all batteries, so I can get from any kind of software I'm using. If it's a WAV file or an AIFF file, I can use it inside of the MPC 2.11.4 or just MPC 2, which is the overall software. So, now I'll go back over to here. And see now, it's there now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back up. I want to make sure that it stays there. So what I want to do, I'm probably going to go to here again and go back down, I can find out where it's at. I can change this to, so I may want to change this. I think I'm going to change this now to, let's see, I'll make it to my MPC drum content or loop library. We'll make it a loop library. I will come here now to make it the loop library. I'll click on loop library. You see it here. Now I'm going to press the shift button down. I will change the location of this. Let's see what's here already. Okay, we got battery there. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to go to, not battery, I'm going to select something else, I go up here, up the ladder, I go to here, I go to loop library right there, I want to change number three to the loop library. I'll press shift and click on this folder, and now if I go to folder number two, I go back to folder number three, I've changed the location of where this folder is looking at. So I'm creating a pathway to that folder automatically give me that path so I can use that path to find any folder. And of course, here's number four. And here I am in the application, which is this application here? I really can't see it here. Not too sure what that is, but it's application here, of course. Oh, it's a bunch of sounds I have here. And then here, of course, these other samples here. This is some chromatic fire library, and this is from machine. So I have machine samples. I have different type of machine samples. I also have like um, uh, Ableton Live samples. I got Logic Pro samples. So this is a great way to maneuver around the different samples that are not actually from Akai. So I keep them here, of course. And of course, I see a folder here. Let's say, for example, I want to see samples. Well, I don't see those, right? I need to open this folder up. So I'm going to get presets, programs, this, this. It tells me what's in that folder. So this folder here, I'm going to open this folder up. And now we see all samples. I come here, I hit samples, you see all the samples. I hit presets, there's no presets. There are no 
programs. There are no sequences and there are no projects. There are just samples in that folder. Just to make sure it's in that folder. So I know what's in that folder. So that's how it works here for the file browser. So I know where I'm going. Also, if I want to see all the MPC files I want to see, I come to right here, select that little triangle right there, I can see the MPC 2.0 demos, the MPC drum content, the MPC loop library, DPALs, you see essentials. These are, these are basically probably all my extension folders looks like. Almost all the extension folders right there. I have MPC documents here, we've got presets, plugins, so I can see everything, plus I can see what's on my hard drive right there. I can go to a hard drive, I have a certain file or a folder called stuff, which I have on my hard drive, which is a, um, a hard drive I have that's put inside. It's actually on a, um, on a disk, on a SD card. I put the SD card in, I have files on there as well. And so I also save whatever I do on a standalone inside of my computer, because I prefer to mix in here and then just put it back on my standalone if I want someone to hear it from the standalone. Okay, now next, we want to look at our expansion browser. Boom, it's expansion browser. It's pretty cool, easy to use because you'll get an expansion, as you probably already know. You click on the expansion, you'll see below it what's in it. You'll see it says programs, it'll say instruments, a list of instruments come up here, right? And this is for the F9 expansion pack. I also see samples, instruments that come right here also as well, right? So we know that these instrument samples like this says bass belongs to this program for bass, right? So if I click on any one of these things, so I click on this, I can see all these programs. And of course, there's this one little pattern it'll play of every one of these sounds. Okay, pretty cool. So let's go back to here. Close this up too as well. So each expansion pack has either projects or programs or samples most of them right and that's kind of cool to just pick the expansion pack you want to use that's our expansion browser which is pretty easy to use now next we have here this is our media browser i love this browser here because i can see everything in this browser i can see all the stuff i want to see i can see the type instrument i can see the kit right i can come to here and go like this to here this to there strings or whatever right it's kind of cool I can go back to programs, I can go to here to um, sequences, samples, projects. It's all here for me to look at, which makes it very cool. Once I get back to here, I'm back to the original, the way it actually looks. I go to kits, that's kind of cool. I'm in kits, right? I come back to here kick again, I kick that twice, I click that twice, and I'm right there. I can see all the programs. And we have the genre right here, and we have the instrument family, so I can see like almost everything that's actually here that's in all these expansion packs but I can also do I can come and select one pack and it'll say okay this is what's in here I come to here this is what's in here so it's a great way to see what's in a specific expansion pack and to get an idea if I want to use it or not of course I can come to here I can say a sequence I, I can look at no sequences project no project well, what's in here nothing I got programs I do so I may come to here and click on one of these things Okay, we can hear and get an example of what's in that particular program. It's easy to load, of course. I can double click here. I can load it in. It's loaded in already, which is kind of cool as well. And then, of course, I can have synths right here. May want to load that. I'll load it in too. And this is very simple too. I can also load in uh, samples. I may come to samples. I'll pick synth samples right here. samples here so I can pick the samples I want and load them in and that's using the media browser which is kind of cool so that's my media browser right there it's kind of noisy right while doing this video but this gives you an idea of what you can do where you can find them all you want to do is grab them put them in or you can load the program in it's very simple and so I always make sure though that I have all the samples that I have on my computer locked in. And I prefer to always keep all these samples in the file browser. I wanna make sure I have a location to know where they are. So I'm gonna use 
any sample I got, sometimes you get packs from friends or you got a sample pack from the internet or you have our full sample collection over 100,000 samples, advertisement of course. And so you wanna be able to have access to them at any point in time and create your own kits and get busy. That's primarily how I use my file browser on my MPC 2.11.4 software on my MacBook Pro.